Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Okay. <laughs> The goal of today's workout is to get an awesome plyometric workout in. It's going to work on conditioning, endurance, muscle power, muscle growth, agility, and speed. What's great about plyometrics is that it incorporates everything. So you can use it as a cardio workout. You can use it as a muscle building workout. I like to put it in as a second leg day into my workout. So if you're training legs, that's one thing. And then you can add in a plyometric workout like this one that you're going to see today that is really leg focused as your second leg workout of the week. So it really is a multitasking workout where you're going to torch fat, burn calories, and build muscle all at the same time. Okay, we're ready to get started. We're doing seven plyometric exercises. We're moving from one exercise to the next with 15 seconds or less in between each exercise. Once you're done with the entire circuit, you're gonna rest three full minutes, grab some water, and hit it back up again. Trying to repeat this entire sequence four times through. Exercise one is speed skate hurdle hops. You can use anything right here. As long as it's under a foot high, you should be good. You wanna practice athleticism here. So you're gonna jump all the way across, get the back foot behind you. You can touch that toe if it helps you balance out in between each side and you're jumping over. The goal here is to get up as high as you can. You don't wanna focus on the lateral movement quite as much. You wanna make sure you're getting some air and jumping off of that foot every single time. All right, let's do it, 50 reps. For the speed skate hurdle hops, we're working on many different things as we are in all plyometric moves. But this one specifically focuses on your legs and your glutes, specifically the outer legs, your outer thighs. And it really works on all of your speed and your agility and your athleticism. So the point is, is to get a lot of air, get your feet off the ground, land softly and get it done. All right, exercise two, high knees again. Want to make sure those knees are getting up there. If you have some sort of a target, that's great. You can just use your hands. Make sure your feet are moving quick and you're getting as much air as possible, 50 times. High knees is a really highly cardiovascular exercise. You want to get the knees up as high as possible and really be quick on your feet. These exercises are all about speed and agility and moving quickly and landing softly. So you don't just want to jog in place. You want to get your knees up high. That works all of the leg, especially your quads. Next exercise, lateral hurdle hops. You can pick anything. Remember, height and quick feet. Land softly, land quickly, and get 50 reps done. These are different than the speed skate hurdle hops that we did at the very beginning. These are lateral hurdle hops, so you're using two legs. When I build a plyometric workout, I really want to use two legs at a time as well as one leg at a time. So you want to get a really well-rounded workout in that focuses on all the different muscle groups of the legs and really taxes all of the systems. So you're gonna grab a hurdle or some sort of an object that's about a foot high and you're gonna keep your feet together and move as quickly as you can. This one again is all about speed. Okay, next exercise, Bulgarian jump squats. Find a bench, a chair if you're at home. You want it to be about knee height. Make sure that you have your breath and your body under control before you start any single leg stuff. Bulgarian jump squats are just like traditional Bulgarian squats. In fact, most of the exercises in this workout are just like their traditional counterparts, but you're adding a little bit more explosive power to them. So you wanna put your back foot on a bench or a box or a tire, whatever you have available to you, and just get some air with that front foot, keeping your form intact. At this point, you're about halfway through the workout. You're back to a single leg. If you've noticed the pattern a little bit, we're doing one leg, we're doing both legs, and then we go back to a single leg again. So I'm really trying to get some rest and recovery built into it because it's a very taxing workout. But incorporating things like single leg and double leg and your rest periods will help you get all the way through, no problem. All right, next exercise, burpee box jumps. At this point, you should be really, really getting fatigued. But hang in there, you're doing great. Make sure you clear a space. You're gonna use up a lot of room for this one. 20 reps, let's do it. This is probably the hardest one of the entire workout. I'm starting to incorporate some upper body now. I really want you to work your whole body with this one. We don't wanna leave your upper body out of a plyometric workout. 
So there's lower reps on this one and you're gonna know why really quickly because we're using so much energy and multiple muscle groups here. You're not just doing a burpee. I'm making you jump up on a box during the exercise every single rep. If you can get to 50, go for it, but I'm only gonna do 20 and I really recommend you do 22. Next up, split squat jumps with a rope slam. And remember, if you're at home without ropes, you're just right here, okay? Split squat jumps. We're going 50 reps. While you do these split squat jumps, you're going to start feeling a lot of fatigue in your legs. We've been working your legs like crazy. But again, now we're splitting up the legs, working one at a time, coming right out of burpees, which uses both legs at the same time. You just wanna make sure you stay strong, keep your form intact because your legs are gonna be fatigued. We're working the entire leg. Your quads are gonna be burning, your hamstrings are gonna be burning, your glutes are gonna be burning, and your calves are gonna be burning. So hang in there, and do your best. Okay, next up, kettlebell swings plus resistance. If you don't have a resistance band, no worries. Find a kettlebell, you're just gonna swing the kettlebell without any bands. Loop that band around the kettlebell handle, nice and snug, and get after it. 50 reps. Again, if you don't have access to the resistance bands, you can do these kettlebell swings at home or in a gym without bands, no problem. Adding the resistance just adds a little extra oomph to your workouts and helps work those shoulders out a little bit more. So the goal of this workout is to get through this entire circuit four times through. If you're a beginner and if you're not used to plyometrics, please start small. Do one round, see how you feel, check in with your body. If you know you can get up and do a whole second round, do it. Maybe you can only get to two rounds, maybe you can only do three. Maybe it's time, something is better than nothing. So just get in there, get some practice, make sure you're resting enough in between the circuits now, even though we are going through a circuit during this plyometric routine, that's how you set up a plyometric workout. You get your stations together, you go through the circuit, you rest, and then you repeat the circuit again. But I want to make sure that you understand that it's so important to split up your muscle groups throughout the week. I still have a shoulder day and a back day and a leg day. I just add this plyometric routine to it in addition to it for a well-rounded, awesome split. If you have any questions for me about today's workout, scroll down and leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. To find me on Body Space, look for Jesse Fitness, and to visit my website, go to jessiefitness.com. And of course, for awesome free articles and videos like this one, always come back to bodybuilding.com.